for Christmas, huh? Shepherds gave reverence and a message to the land. A widow held him cherish the God who became a man. But all among God, hope prince of peace, what tribute shall I bring to worship? Oh, Prince of Peace, what 
Jordan. It's Christmas time. Let's go now. It's the time of the year full of love and cheer. Snowflakes in the air, carols everywhere. You are the reason Jesus came for real. Wonderful season.
for Christmas, huh? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, 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 Hallelujah. Please, shall we stand up for the, for the open prayer? Father, we thank you for bringing us together to fellowship with you. We thank you for taking us through the year 2021. We thank you for the good health and all that you will give to us. Even as we are here to celebrate your birth, we pray that you come and take over the the program and direct, we pray and commend all the performers into your hand. We pray that whatever will be done here will speak to our heart so that the, the joy in your birth will continue to be in us, strengthen us to the next year. We also pray and commend those coming onto your hand. We pray that you bring them here safely so that together we shall rejoice in you. We know that you have heard our prayer. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen.
river, joy like a river in my soul. I have joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. I have joy. Let's give it up to them all. 
this shows how tonight is going to be. So get ready. We are going to dance. We are going to rejoice. For we are here. Say hey. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. That's a wonderful procession. Good evening to you all. On behalf of the senior pastor, prophet Christopher Yano and his wife, Reverend Felicia Anno, the entire leadership, I'd like to welcome you to the Holy Ghost Temple Christmas Eve Gold, Frankincense and Mayor Festival Night. And I say festival because it's full of bouquet of wonderful things. Clap for that. Don't rush to go anywhere. Mommy promised us on Sunday. It's because of that promise I'm here. I want to open my eyes like that and see what mommy promised. So don't rush. Relax. This evening is going to be exciting as we have just started. It's full of songs. You see, the guys have already started here. We're going to have lessons from lesson one up to nine. That is talking about the birth of Jesus Christ. It's not just Christmas with Christmas um, armbands and stuff like that, but what is the meaning of Christmas? This nine lessons is going to give us the meaning of Christmas so that we can really enjoy enjoy it very well and then we have some choreographies wonderful people are going to come here we have very serious people going to minister to us i can see dr mrs ama edu mafu going to read the first lesson and it goes down to wonderful people isabella jackson many others hey watch it omega generation is here omega kwa omega kwa is here So I expect a lot, a lot, a lot. I will be telling you more, more of this people going to display tonight. And please make sure that you have your seat best fasting on. Enjoy to the fullest and at the end of it all. We're going to program most of the things. We are going to put it on autopilot. So make sure you watch the screen and see what is coming, what is next, and follow it up. If you want to dance, you can stand up there and dance. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here because a king is born. And the night before, the wise men, even the wise men, went to look for this king, and they went there going with gold, frankincense, and mare to give gifts to this king. So we have gathered here, as you all know, in ICGC, a tradition that the night before, we also look for this king and present our gift. That is why we are here. So in dancing, remember, this, there's going to be opportunity for you where you have the chance to give your gold, your frankincense, and mare to this king. And in this church, they use money wisely. I'll be talking about a project that has been done coming from the monies we receive here. Example like the gold, frankincense, and mare and you see what your money can do this evening. People who are disadvantaged can also enjoy this Christmas, can really have your community here, can enjoy, based on what you are going to give. You can't feed the whole of Adenta Frafaha, but together with ICGC Holy Ghost Temple, with that your gold, frankincense, and mare, the church can feed a lot of people here. If you agree with me, say, hey! Hey! hey. hey. Hallelujah! So I won't talk too much, just watch. What is going on? Guys, if you are ready, let's move. I'll come back. Thank you. The Asian's Word. Scripture reading. Lesson 1. Our first lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 3 verses 8 to 19. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God 
walking about in the garden. So they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Then the Lord God called to the man, where are you? He replied, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? The Lord God asked, have you eaten from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat? The man replied, it was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, what have you done? The serpent deceived me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all animals, domestic and wild. You will crawl on your belly, graveling in the dust as long as you live. And I will cause hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. Then he said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy and in pain you will give birth and you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. And to the man he said, since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground is cursed because of you. All your life you will struggle to scratch a living from it. It will grow thorns and thistles for you, though you will eat of its grains. By the sweat of your brow, you will have food to eat until you return to the ground from which you were made. Here ends the Bible reading. A song was heard at Christmas to wake the midnight sky, a Savior's birth and peace on earth and praise to God on high. In their juvenility, nothing stops them from ministering to the Lord. Here and they come, them, the children's choir, the voice of the nothing with angelic who's portraying Christ's glory.
lesson two. Our second lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. Then the angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says. Because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son, your only son, I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies, and through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, and all because you have obeyed me. Here ends the Bible reading. for rhythmic movement with accompaniment of music as they dance aerobically creating expressive stairs with jaggedness strength. We call them the Holy Ghost Temple Dramatic Arts. Get ready for rhythmic movement with accompaniment of music as they dance aerobically, creating expressive stairs with jaggedness strength. We call them the Holy Ghost Temple Dramatic Arts. Get ready for rhythmic movement with accompaniment of music as they dance aerobically, creating expressive stairs with jaggedness strength. We call them the Holy Ghost Temple Dramatic Arts. Get ready for rhythmic movement with accompaniment of music as they dance aerobically, creating expressive stairs with jaggedness strength. We call them the Holy Ghost Temple Dramatic Arts.
lesson three. Our third lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 and 6 to 7. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven armies will make this happen. Here ends the Bible reading. The Lord and let Come your joy be Lord the Lord and let Join your joy be sweet accords to join in a song with sweet accords and give them king. They are young, but gratifying, they are young, pleasant, but gratifying, pleasant, make a generation other, make a generation. With sweet accord to present our finest gifts to the newborn king. They are young, but gratifyingly pleasant. None other than the Omega generation. Shall I pay for 
Lesson four. Our fourth lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3a and verses 6 to 9. Out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance, 
nor make a decision based on hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and make fair decisions for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word, and one breath from his mouth will destroy the wicked. In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The leopard will lie down with the baby goats. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion, and a little child will lead them all. The cow will graze near the bear. The cup and the calf will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like a cow. The baby will play safely near the hole of a cobra. Yes, a little child will put its hand in the nest of a deadly snake without harm. Nothing will hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For as the waters fill the sea, so the earth will be filled with people who know the Lord. Here ends the Bible reading. His, his indescribable gifts, which is irrevocable, ministering all I have to give. Let's welcome Nana Yao Ofori Atta. his only begotten son. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gifts, which is irrevocable. Ministering all I have to give. Let's welcome Nana Yao Ofori Atta. Hallelujah. Okay. So during this period, it's always about what we can get from God. And today, I just want to share a prayer with you and it's all about what I could also give to God. Amen. Lord, if I could buy you a gift to show you my love, tell you how I feel, it wouldn't matter what I'd have to give. I would find a way to get it for you but fortunately that's not the case and we both know I don't have bank anyways but I won't let it affect my presentation to you cause this is what I bring here is my heart, my mind. Lord, here's my life, my everything. Take it, it's yours, oh Lord. I give you my all, my everything. Every song that I write, every song that I sing, every day of my life, every breath that I breathe, you gave to me. And Lord, I rededicate it right back to you. You're the love of my life, so faithful, so true. I get goosebumps just thinking about you And there's nothing I will not do for you So here is my heart, my mind Lord, here's my life, my everything Take 
It's yours, O oh Lord. It's all I have to hear is my heart, my mind. Lord, here's my life, my everything. Take it. It's yours, O oh Lord. Cause my life is not my own. It's to you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Oh God, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I, I give myself, I give myself to you. Oh Lord, I give myself away. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh, 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 oh Lord. He's just a baby. We call them the Cries Holy Ghost Devil Dramatic Acts. He lies in a manger and the innkeeper bar. He's just a baby, yet the sky changed its form as a new star appeared when this baby was born. He's just a baby, yet the hosts of heaven sang hallelujah to this baby. He's just a hallelujah, baby. son of man. Ten fingers, ten toes. He's just a baby. Two eyes, he drove two a mad king wild, mouth and one who stained the streets with innocence. He's just a baby, looking for cries this child. out for mum's arms, as he lies in a manger in the innkeeper's because bar. Because he's just a baby, he's yet just a baby on the seas. Yet the sky feet thousands its with nothing as a new star appeared. When this baby, he's just a baby, yet will carry just out a baby. the law. Live the a life of perfection, so hallelujah to this baby, hallelujah. He's just a baby, yet will speak to He's just every a baby. nation, every broken heart and, and lost wild. soul. He will Who fight for their salvation with innocence. He's just a baby, this child. Yet when they call him man, Why? they will shout for crucifixion because and drive nails through baby. his hands. Yet will walk on the seas. He's just a baby, Feet yet at his final breath, the full creation will shake. shake. He's just a baby, yet will carry out. He's just a baby, live a life. Yet when he's laid in his grave, he will rise three days later. He's just a baby, victorious to save to every nation, every 
He is just a baby. When we look in his festive cot, he's just a baby. But the truth is, he's not just a crucifixion and drive nails through his hands. He is the Almighty Son. He's just a baby of God. Yet at his final breath, all creation will shake, mourning his death. He's just a baby. Yet when he's laid in his grave, he will rise three days later, victorious to save. He is just a baby. He's when we look in his, his festive cup, ten fingers, ten toes. But the truth is, he is. He's not no, just a baby. He's just a baby. He is the Almighty, Christ, Son of God. As he lies in the manger, in the innkeeper's barn. He's just a baby, yet the sky changed its form as a new star appeared when this baby was born. He's just a baby, yet the hosts of heaven sang hallelujah to this baby, hallelujah son of man. He's just a baby, yet drove a mad king wild, who stained the streets with innocence, looking for this child. Because he's just a baby, yet will walk on the sea, feed thousands with nothing and perform miracles with ease. He's just a baby, yet will carry out the law, live a life of perfection so man will fear no more. He's just a baby, yet will speak to every nation, every broken heart and lost soul. He will fight for their salvation. He's just a baby. Yet when they call him man, they will shout for crucifixion and drive nails through his hands. He's just a baby. Yet at his final breath, all creation will shake, mourning his death. He's just a baby. Yet when he's laid in his grave, he will rise three days later, victorious to save. He is just a baby. When we look in his festive cot, but the truth is, he's not just a baby. He is the Almighty Son of God. Yet the hosts of heaven sang hallelujah to this baby, hallelujah son of man. He's just a baby, yet drove a mad king of wild, who stained the streets with innocence, looking for his child. Because he's just a baby, yet will walk on the seas, feed thousands with nothing. He's just a baby, yet will carry out the law, live a life of perfection, so man will fear no more. He's just a baby, yet will speak to every nation, every broken heart and lost soul. He will fight for their salvation. He's just a baby, yet when they call him man, they will shout for crucifixion and drive nails through his hands. He's just a baby. Yet at his final breath, all creation will shake. None is dead. He's just a baby. Yet when he's laid in his grave, he will rise three days later, victorious to save. He is just a baby. When we look in his festive cup, but the truth is, he's not just a baby. He is the Almighty Son of God. <laughs> Merry Christmas. 
is just a thing. From finger to finger. Two eyes, two ears, one mouth, and one mouth. He's just a baby. Cries out for my job. The lies are on the job. And the people die. He's just a baby. Yet the sky changed its form as a new star appears when this baby is born. He's just a baby, yet the hosts of heaven sang hallelujah to this baby. Hallelujah, son of man. He's just a baby, yet drove a mad king wide. He stormed the streets with his looking at his child. Why? Because he's just a baby, yet the war on the sea. Be thousands with nothing before miracles with him. He's just a baby, yet will carry out the law, live a life of perfection, so man will fail no more. He's just a baby, yet will speak to every nation, every broken heart and lost soul who will fight for their salvation. He's just a baby, yet when they call him man, they will shout for crucifixion and drive nails through his hands. He's just a baby, yet at his final breath, all creation will shake, mourning his death. He's just a baby, yet when he's laid in his grave, he will rise three days later, victorious to say. He is just a baby, when we look in his plastic cup. But the truth is, he's not just a baby. He is the Almighty Son of God. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will have no end. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And the angel left there. Here ends the Bible reading.
Wonderful, you've done well. Clap for the junior choir, junior choir. Wonderful. Right, I think we've been sitting down for long now. It's our turn. Let's all be upstanding. We're going to have a hymn. While the shepherd watched their flock by night, we are all going to sing that together and then enjoy ourselves together. So shall we be upstanding? As we have the congregational hymn, while the shepherd watched their flocks by night. Let's appreciate them. Thank you very much. Please shall we take our seats. Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All returned to their own ancestral towns to to register for this census. 
And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. They gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Here ends the Bible reading. Lesson is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 16. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel assured them, Do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. Here ends the Bible reading. And now to them, shall proceed and now to them, shall proceed the voice of them that make the voice of them that make merry. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born, born in Bethlehem. Hail the Son of Hail the Son of righteousness. Let's welcome, the Let's welcome the children's choir. Yeah, she said yeah, she said yeah to me. I just 
you saw the priceless gift of salvation. A new type of coronavirus. The In the beginning, God and man were one. The World Health Organization has just the declared that this is a pandemic. The and the new COVID-19 variant Omicron is driving up cases around the world. Pandemic. Of course, sparking a lot and the new COVID-19 variant Omicron is driving up cases around months, the world. Of course, sparking a lot of concern. No, 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 no. In the past few months, mass protests have broken out in communities. International health is being pledged for India as it battles a ferocious second wave of coronavirus. International health is being pledged for India as it battles a ferocious second wave of coronavirus described by Prime Minister Narendra Modi as a storm that has shaken the nation. Failed marriages. When we hit rock bottom, examination. We have no way of picking ourselves up. Disappointment. Failed marriages. Failed businesses. Failed examination. Zero bank accounts. Layoffs. Disappointment. We feel we can't make it. Failed businesses. In the very essence of our existence becomes bleak when we feel we can't make it becomes our hope when the very essence of our existence of becomes bleak oftentimes we forget our connection of god that better day is ahead of, of us victorious oftentimes we forget our mind is actually in the that we are victorious and when you feel you can't make it you got to look to the cross because i heard him you say you can't make it you got to look to the cross because I heard him say for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. I feel like preaching now. I feel like having church here. Touch somebody. Have I told you, touch your neighbor yet? Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're expected to win. I know you're going through some trials. I know you're going through some pain. But get your eyes off the situation. Get your eyes off the material. Focus your eyes on Jesus. You got to look to the chief leader. The one that takes the lead. The one that moves you through every circumstance. And move you through every situation. The one that will hold you in the time of trial and keep you in the difficult time and he says all I want you to do is keep your eyes on me because I started it and I intend to finish it and I'm not going through without you I feel the Holy Ghost here I might as well preach this thing can I preach like I feel it Sometimes while you're moving and trying to get to the place, somebody says, well, where is Jesus? Have you ever been through a trial and you wanted to know where he was? 
tried and I prayed and I've looked for every help I can get. I've touched and agreed with everybody, but I wonder where the Lord is. Cause I don't feel him, I can't see him. Well, I'm here to tell you where he is. While you're coming through the race, trying to keep the pace, holding on to your faith and lifting him up and giving him the glory. I'll tell you where he is. He's sitting at the finish line, waiting for you to get there because he expects you to pull it off through the power of your anointing. Shake somebody's hand like you go shake it off and say, neighbor, I know you're hurt, but we expect you to win. But we expect you to win. I know you're going through trials, but you're still expected to win. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray with me. Somebody, you got to make it. You got to tell yourself, I'm expected to win. I'm expected to cast out devils. I'm expected. To move to the next level, I'm expected to get over this mess. I'm expected to come through this depression. And I will, I will, I will, by the power of God. I'm getting ready to close, but I rose to tell you that you got the breastplate of righteousness, you got the helmet of salvation, you got your waist girt with truth. It's the truth that holds all the other armaments. It's knowing the truth that keeps the breastplate, that keeps the helmet, that's your feet sharp with the preparation of the gospel. And you got the shield of faith that quenches the fiery darts of the enemy. But I come to tell you, those are all defensive weapons. And every now and then, in this battle to win the race, the devil has a way of attacking your mind. You gotta watch what you think, and he attacks your heart. You gotta watch what you love, then he attacks your truth. You gotta watch what you believe, then you gotta have the shield that keeps him off. But I'm so glad after I've been backed up a while, you back me up on the job. You back me up in my house. You back me up with my credit. You back up my finances. You back up my body. And you got me backing up. But I'm so glad the Lord gave me the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I rose to tell the devil, it's my turn now. It's my time now. Get off my land, get out of my place, get out of my job, get out of my child, get out of my church, get out, get out, cause I am expected to win, I'm expected to overcome, I'm expected to cast out devils, I'm expected to have joy, I'm expected to deliver.
up. Sing aloud. You make a joyful please. noise unto the Lord Most High. Great him according to his excellent greatness. They are here again. Then three sixty.
taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 6. I read, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the reign of King Aaron. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw a star at its, as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the land leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea. They said, For this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the city, ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people. The second part of our eighth lesson is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 7 to 12. And I read, Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the first star appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. They went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route. For God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Here ends the Bible reading. the past few years have been. And so I'd like us to pay close attention to the words about to be spoken. To open your minds and let attention be your only token. For we have all gathered here to worship our King and our Messiah, our Savior, Yeshua. We have all gathered here to worship the boy who was born in a manger. The boy who was born in a barn with animals because there was no space in the inn, but now each and every person here deems it as a privilege to have them in his heart. The boy who hundreds of innocent blood was spilled in pursuit of him, but then billions have been changed and are still being changed because of the blood that he shed on Calvary. The boy who the skies changed and the wise men's eyes gazed upon a new star that led to where he was being born, but now is the star leading billions to a new life, to a life reborn. The boy who was looked down on by his teachers until he spoke and now his teachings are being used by various teachers to teach us. The boy who was looked down on by his townsfolk because he was just the son of a carpenter. But then now is the one building a bridge so that we can join our Heavenly Father, the boy who was just born in a manger. He did all this, but he was just the boy born in a manger. Just the boy born in a manger. 
but you will be the light to those in darkness just a boy born in the manger but you turn water to wine greedy tax collectors will call him to come dine and you will give life to all those who are dying just a boy born in a manger but you walk upon the seas will perform miracles with ease and would give us the keys to the kingdom just a boy born in a manger but you'll be a hero and you might not wear a cape but then he has the capabilities of bringing all those who are so far from home they think there's no way home homecoming because he's so loving for he is just the boy born in the manger so i've come to remind you that our king and our messiah in all his splendor was born in a manger and so it doesn't matter how you start and with his beginning christmas being right before our beginning new years i have come to remind you that our king and our messiah in all his splendor was born in a manger so how you start might be small but it's your end that matters because mary did not know and you may not know what he has planned for you but then can you just trust the boy who was born in a manger Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. watch that footage this gold frankincense and mare what the church is using your money your gold your frankincense and mare what they are using it for i told you that this is the opportunity for you to give for projects like that and if you have money to give you can't leave your people and go to a place and start helping them whilst your community is there you will see just around the corner Adenta Frafraha, the school here, the community day school here, what your church, ICGC, Holy Ghost Temple, did for them. When you talk of computer, desktop, workstations, network, internet, whatever, you see that. So open your eyes. Watch the construction of the, med supporting the medical project at Central University. Open your eyes and see. And I love this one. The church is supporting university students, fresh university students here. Clap for that alone. <laughs> Giving them laptops. You watch it. I won't speak much. The last one, the medical project. I have seen it myself. Watch it. So the video, let's go. The year 2021 marked 25 years since the establishment of the International Central Gospel Church. ICGC Holy Ghost Temple at Frafraha in the Adentan Municipality. And to commemorate the Silver Jubilee, the church committed to deliver some major projects within some selected communities. The first was the refurbishment of the ICT lab at the Frafraha Community Senior High School. This included partitioning of the ICT lab, tiling, provision of security doors, painting and other fittings 65 desktop computers 32 workstations 65 uninterrupted power supply a printer with duplex facilities you are focusing spiritual focusing educational focusing and your career focus purpose in your heart this is what i want and have a self-control say self-control this well have no room for cowards 
it is the courageous people that take the top places attempt what nobody have attempted move on and you will be at the top our theme for the year is fruitfulness and we want each and every one of you to be fruitful in your area of study and in your Christian walk with God. So this morning, we are presenting these laptops to you so you will be fully equipped. Like the prophet said, there are great people amongst you here. And we want to push you, we want to help you and earth the gem that is in you. When you are taught, you go back to your laptop and earth the knowledge that is there and you will become a fruitful vine. We charge you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, the Lord being your helper. Amen. So what we're doing here today is to present some gift or a token to some of our students in the youth who went to the university the first time, their first year. And the church leadership decided to give each of those individuals a laptop each. My son is called Pastor Kofi Omeri Asantida, who is a first year student at the University of Science and Technology, now Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I was there, so we call it the University of Science and Technology. He is offering mechanical engineering. So upon getting admission, one of the first things that he requested from me was a laptop. Unfortunately, at the time I couldn't. So I managed to get him a spare one from the workplace. As you can imagine, that's a used one. So in the second semester, he went to a like, used laptop to manage his academic work until vacation. Then he mentioned to me that the church, you know, was giving first year students laptops as a gift. I'm like, wow, laptops? They are asking, how many are you? I'm told they are about 53 or so. I said, okay. So he went and brought a laptop home, brand new, tear rubber. And I am so, so proud of my church. I'm so grateful to the church. Laptop, I think, is the best gift any modern student will need because the laptop is now your laboratory, the laptop is your library, the laptop is your research center. In fact, if it is well used, I believe a number of those students are within first class range. And I'm so grateful to the church. I will therefore stand on behalf of all parents because I know the economic exigencies of these days. I stand on behalf of all parents and indeed all our children and wards who received those laptops. We are grateful to the leadership of the church from the senior prophet himself through our mom, Mom Obisha, and the entire leadership of the church for conceiving that idea to give a valuable gift to these, our children. And I promise that Pastor would come out successful and indeed all his colleagues will come out successful to the glory of the living God. Thank you very much and God bless us all. My colleagues and I would like to thank you all so much for being here with us to share in this occasion. We are honored to receive these gifts of Bibles and laptops. These gifts mean so much to all of us. We want to thank the senior pastor and the leadership of the church for their, for their dedicated efforts over the years in shaping our vision and raising us to be leaders who have already started and will continue to influence society through Christ. These gifts we have received today are a testament of that fact. We say, God bless you. Like the builders in the time of Nehemiah, we will build our careers with the sword of the Spirit, the Bible, in one hand, and with the efficient use of the technology, 
which is the laptop you've been given today in the other hand. We promise to be unrelenting, unrelenting and persevering in our work with God and in our pursuit of tertiary education. We will therefore want to thank our parents and guardians. According to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, New King James Version, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Our parents have brought us up in godly ways and through their constant guidance, have raised us up as valorous men and virtuous women of God. We are greatly encouraged by all the love and support shown us today, and we pledge to continue to strive towards a spiritual, moral, and academic excellence, all to the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless us all. Amen. The next project was at the Kintampo Senior High School in the Bono East region of Ghana. The school, which was established on the 15th October 1971, has the belief that education is relevant only if it is geared towards love and service to mankind. Thus, their motto, love and service. The church donated 60 computers with 60 uninterrupted power supply with 30 dual computer tables and chairs, two air conditioners, one projector, and a Canon photocopier to the ICT laboratory. A brief thereby with the chiefs, members of the community, school authorities, students, and church leadership was held to formally hand over the ICT lab to the school management. And the school has a population of um, close to 3,000. And apparently we have only one lab with about 40 computers. And the functional ones are not even up to 30. And so you can see the pressure on the computers. We are running two courses, the ICT electives and the core IT. And you can imagine with a population of close to 3,000, all these people are enrolling into the ICT program. So apparently when the call came that the man has found the need to build uh, uh, an ICT lab for, for the school, we were very happy and it was welcome. So we prepared ourselves, we, we gave our lab, and as you can see, um, they provided 60 functional computers, including um, UPS, uninterrupted power supply. They provided one standard Canon printer and um, um, uh, a projector screen. They provided um, two standard air conditioners for the computers and the students as well. And also we had uh, in our possession 30 tables and 30 chairs together making 60. The 50 computers are well connected to the internet and as usual, you with the networking, we are going to restrict some sites to prevent the students from going to that site. They will be only have access to the educational site, of which is going to help them in their research work. And also the teachers as well. Anytime they have a problem, they can come here, do their research. And I think it's really going to help the students. We are very glad and very happy because we have never seen such a test um, in the department before. So on behalf of my teachers, and on behalf of the headmaster, I would say that we are honoredly privileged and very happy to have such um, an edifice or a computer lab to help improve the teaching and learning in Kitapo Senior High School. I will however end with an appeal to everyone in the school to take good care of the equipment. Central University is the largest private Christian university in Ghana, founded by Dr. Mensah Otabel and the International Central Gospel Church. The university is putting up a modern teaching hospital to offer students in the medical and allied sciences direct on-campus clinical skills exposure and offer a much-needed service to the local community. ICGC Holy Ghost Temple donated 1 million Ghana CDs out of the total project cost of 1.9 million Ghana CDs, which will start phase one of the project, including block laying and enable commencement of clinical activities. 
first and foremost let me say a very big thank you to prophet christopher Yao Ano. he has been a very great support for the several years that we have known him in this university and we want to say thank you especially a very big thank you to him and to Holy Ghost Temple at this moment for the help that they have given us to build the university clinic. The university needs a clinic at this time for a number of reasons. It is a major requirement for our School of Medical and Health Sciences. Without a clinic, it's very difficult to manage the physician assistantship and the nursing program in particular. Currently, we send our students to almost 40 different clinics and hospitals spread all over the country so that they can do their practical courses. Yeah, I think it, it, it's very I mean, difficult for them to handle this particular situation. And if you should have a clinic over here, a hospital over here, that will pay them a lot to stay at one place for their training, not to be transported far away. So it's, it's a welcome news for us to get a bigger clinic for them to do all their practical, all their clinicals over here without going far away from the school. Currently, the programs we run as a health sciences faculty, they are all hospital-based programs. But unfortunately, we don't have hospital on campus as it is now. And this takes a very huge toll on the training of our students in terms of logistics and management. Uh, what it means is that as a practical based course, which ought to be done in the hospitals, and we are doing it without hospitals, whatever we do now in terms of fees that we take for the training of these students goes to other institutions. Nothing per se comes to the university and the students and their parents will think that these programs are expensive. But then in the real truth of affairs, the monies we take do not even go to the running and management of this, uh, uh, these programs. They rather go into other institutions that at the moment we are loaning okay, to train our students. The cost of that is very extensive. There's massive transportation costs. There is cost for payment for the preceptors who are over there, the inconvenience to the students who have to move for several weeks out of campus to go and live in those places. And so we realized that if we build our own clinic, this will be taking a very major burden off the management and the university. We have a clinic situated in the school, but it is very under-equipped. There are a lot of things the clinic doesn't have, that will provide basic health care to students in emergencies. We have a clinic right now, and it's very below standard. It's very small and can't accommodate students for their practical sessions. And also, when it's time for our practicals, we travel far places. We go to Bota region, and we have to pass through the Accra traffic to Kolebu just to have our practicals. We have been asked to go to far hospitals to have our clinical sessions with limited time, which hasn't benefited us because we haven't been able to explore various diseases. In terms of the space, we don't have place to admit the, 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 the patients. We need to keep them for some few hours and refer them to the general hospital. If you have a bigger space, I think we can be able to admit them and look after them for the rest of the day. Currently, the ICGC Church is building a hospital on the mutual campus. If this hospital is to be completed, it would be of great benefit to nursing students and the whole student's body. We will be allowed to have longer sessions of clinicals to be able to experience a lot of diseases, which is going to help us during our licensure exam. Once this hospital is completed, we would have a hospital facility close to us, so it will make the practical experience much better and easier for us. This hospital is not only going to help with the students but also the community as well. It's going to be open for the whole community to come and access quality health care. Yes, because this place is just by the main road and you see there are a lot of accidents 
have been on a roll and they have to rush all of them to the vaginal office to start away. If you have some bigger facility, I'm sure you can attend to the outside there. So I think with the coming of the new hospital project, number one, we're going to get cost of value for money. The money that the students are going to be paying in terms of tuition will come into uh, being effective use for the university and its health sciences program. Then number two, as teachers who have to organize lectures outside campus in this traffic zone across that we live. It's not an easy thing for both the students and for us in management. So that is going to even cut down the wastage time that we currently are uh, experiencing. And so we believe that we can commercialize this project ultimately so that we help the community to find us. Because you know the function of the university is not only to bring education and development to a place, but if we can extend medical services as well, we'll be making a very major intervention in the hospital in the environment. So these are some of the reasons that we are very, very grateful to the tech, to the National Center Gospel Tech, Holy Ghost Chapel and the Prophet Dai Ahmed for the grace and the kindness that they have shown to us. Thank you. El Shaddai, the Lord has done more than enough. Hallelujah. continue that? Do you want to continue that? Do you want to build more hospitals, support more hospitals? Support for Afraha? Then tonight is our gold frankincense and mayor. Where we are now, this is International Central Gospel, Holy Ghost Temple, Christmas Eve service. Dab, gold, frankincense, and mare. It's a night of carols, music, art, spoken word, and the word of God itself. We have to have a message, Christmas message, coming from someone the Lord has prepared to give us the Christmas message. And also ensure that our gold will be coming forth this evening. Raise some funds for us to be able to continue this project. And I love this woman who's going to speak to us this Christmas Eve. I know her very well. You also know her very well. Very passionate, filled with the Holy Ghost and with power. And above all, as it has what it takes to speak the word of God. Without talking too much, we have this evening the first lady of ICGC Holy Ghost Temple, the only mama, Reverend Felicia Wish, to give us the Christmas message. Shall we, with a standing ovation, invite our mother to come and give us the Christmas message? Let's clap and appreciate her. Praise the Lord. We've heard the Christmas message in the music, in the choreography, in the spoken word, and everything. Haven't you heard the Christmas message already? We have, but we have placed, slotted something for Christmas message. And I'm going to share one verse of scripture. It's in Isaiah chapter 9. Can we roll it? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. 
video team. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Continue. Verse 7, it says, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. What I want to emphasize is that the government shall be upon his shoulder. I don't know if you have imagined how the government on his shoulder would be. The first scripture that was read said, when God saw that man had done what he was not supposed to do, he pronounced a curse. He says the man will sweat. The lady will struggle in labor. The woman will even want to serve her husband. She will chop her head onto a plate for the husband, and even the husband will not see. Hey, what a curse. But God so loved us. That right from that moment, he planned redemption. And he said, the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Right from creation, God prepared today. Hallelujah. And so, man has been looking forward to that day when the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. And so he said unto us, we are celebrating Christmas. Some of you are wearing your Christmas dresses. Why? Because the Savior has been born. Some of you have painted your house Christmas. Why? Because the Savior has been born. There's so much traffic. Why? Because the Savior has been born. What are we doing to receive this Savior? The fowls are crying. The sheep are crying. The goats are crying. All to do what? To celebrate Christmas. And I'm here to tell you, whatever your issues have been over the year, it could be your work. Corona has affected your work. It may have affected so many things. You are thinking about your children. You are thinking about school. You are thinking about so many things. And it is Christmas. And they say, a child. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. What is he coming to do? He says, the government shall be upon his shoulder. What for? He's going to carry whatever you need to do. Any form of rulership. The things that you struggle to do for yourself. Christmas, Jesus is coming into your home and say, carry all to me hand them all over to me i will carry them on my shoulder and in carrying that i'm going to show you that when you need counsel i am your counselor your wonderful counselor your mighty god your everlasting father and the last one that freaks me most he says for the increase of his government there shall be no end. For the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. If he can carry all our burdens unto the Savior who has been born, he's an everlasting father. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It could have been problem of 50 years, 20 years one day. He says, carry them, bring them to me. And I will carry them over my shoulder. Oh, God. Oh, God. The government shall be upon the shoulder. That's the word I want you to carry. The government shall be upon his shoulder. Christmas says that, oh, Jesus, 
I have looked forward to your coming. And indeed, now I have the opportunity to lay everything on you. He says, cast all your burdens upon him, for his, he cares. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, because your government shall be upon my shoulder. What is it that you are carrying that is so heavy? At Christmas, bring it to the Savior. He will carry it, and your load will be light. You need wisdom. You think you talk to a human being, and you get it? Cry unto him, and he will bring you wisdom. Whatever you have been carrying that is so heavy for you, I want you today to go home say, Lord, I am tired of carrying all that I've been carrying. Today I have resigned as Konongo Kaya. I don't want to carry it anymore. Take it and carry it over your shoulder so my burden will be light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you have forgotten anything, I just want you to remember. And what? The government shall be upon his shoulder. In the middle of the night, when you don't know what to do, call him and say, Lord, you have come. And this is the Lord. Carry it over your shoulder. He says he came to carry our burden over his shoulder. Praise the Lord. On this note, I just want to say that if you have the opportunity of carrying your burden to the Lord for him to carry it over his shoulder, there are many also looking for help and they are calling upon God to take their load and it will take you and it will take me to give our little monies here and there to bring to the needy to carry their burden unto the Savior. May the Lord be your helper as you look to God to lift your burden. I pray that you also stretch forth your hand and give something to lighten another person's burden. God bless you. He showed it. That is a powerful word that mommy has given us. And as he said, it's time that we give. Please let me see if you have your envelope. Check. We have a special envelope. Gold, frankincense, and mere envelope. Put your money in, your check in, probably after seeing the project, the legacy project. After hearing what mommy said, that you are okay, some others need your help, you can change the check you've written. You can change the figure. No amount is small. Anything can really put a smile in the face of somebody. And you'll be shocked what these monies can do. At least you've tested the legacy project. I'm sure you will see more of this the next time we are here. So please ensure that you have your envelope. If you still want to go digital, you still put the numbers there. You can still use the church platform and make all your donations. So let's listen to the band as we give the offering.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, shall we have Reverend Oredu? We thank you for the opportunity to give. The Bible says there is more blessed to give than to receive good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Shall the Lord cause men and women to give unto our bosom? We pray that as we have given this Christmas, the Lord will open the windows of heaven unto you. The Lord will cause people to bless you. This that we ask in Jesus' name and all say amen. already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might be so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the word became human and made his home amongst us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Here ends the Bible reading. testimony unto the greatness and the goodness of God. And we are here to praise his name. Hallelujah. Testimonio, 
Wait, wait, don't go, please. Don't go. Give us this one, unplanned one. Give us one Christmas one before you leave, okay? One Christmas. Yes. I fear for anything that we can dance with that. We are local people.
Thank you very much for that performance. Please ensure that you have your parcel with you. If you are not having any parcel, just wave your hand and the ushers will be with you. Mommy promised us we should come. I think she has delivered. Let's clap for her and the church. <laughs> Mommy has given everybody Christmas gift. So please, if you are here and you haven't received your parcel, raise up your hand, ushers. I have mine. Please, nobody should take mine. I have mine. So if yours is not available, just wave your hand and you will get it. Mommy promised, come for this Christmas Eve and she will surprise you. And she has done that. Thank you. I think at this juncture, I would like on behalf of the senior pastor, prophet, Yawano, and mommy again, to thank everybody for coming. Okay. We're still going to have more music. To, to be quite honest, praise the Lord. Everybody has got something, right? Oh. Praise the Lord. So the last thing we are going to do. Hey. Okay. So when they are done, we'll cut the Christmas cake and then we'll share the benediction. Let's clap for mommy once again. We have cake, 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 Christmas cake also on top. But I want to thank everybody for coming and make sure that please, we want to remind you that COVID is still around as you're going home, as you're interacting, do observe the protocols, make sure your hand sanitizers, your, your, your nose marks and everything are there. This Christmas, if you don't need to go to any place, don't go. Just stay at home. Already you have your cake here. You have your parcel. Get some fowl and chicken and chew them. And we hope to see you on Sunday. Sunday is 26th and we have to be here and then enjoy Christmas. Okay, let's listen to the children once again.
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. Good tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Everybody, we everybody. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy. And a happy. Let's go. Say, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Say, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy. Let's go. I'm on the I'm on. Come on, dear boy. Let's go. song. Okay, you can sit down. Mommy, it's time to cut the cake. Chris, wow. Shall we invite Mommy? Praise the Lord. You have all got your cake. 
Now the leaders will help me cut this cake and I will carry it home. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can I take the opportunity to invite the council? Yeah. All council members, we are cutting on your behalf. This is a very Christmas cake. I hope you can see it. Video. Magnify the cake. Video camera. Thank God for taking us through the year and bringing us to the end of the year in strength, in health, in power, and in glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Lord, we say thank you. Merry Christmas. Take the cake. Where are the cake carriers? Quickly take the cake. They are not going to put it in my boots. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. They, oh, let's clap for mommy. <laughs> in fact, mommy has delivered 150%. Let's clap for her. She told us to come. She has given us everything and Christmas cake. So everybody, we have it now. Now we are just at our last item. And all these wonderful people who performed this evening will be working down. And that's the end of today. Please, as I said, make sure that you watch covid as you go from here and as you are around, still maintain the protocols. Shall we be upstanding and then share the benediction? And after that, we will be upstanding and allow the procession to follow. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Afrisha Pao. Thank you. I've got joy, joy.